Football on ACC Network tonight at McWhorter Stadium. A good night for Shamrocks and Base Knocks. The Clemson Tigers go for their eighth straight win and a series sweep as North Carolina tries to salvage the final game. Of One, she ended up throwing them nearly 16% of the time. So I think to try to kind of balance the aggressiveness that you see from North Carolina, she went with that off speed. Ground ball, Matty Moore, quick fire to first. To Brooks flares that one to left center field, and that could find the gap, and it does. Mackenzie Clark tries to corral as she does, but not before Skylar Brooks. Backstop tonight for Spencer. The 2-1. Settlemeyer skies this one to right center field. Clark has it. Not tagging is Brooks. Here in this lineup, and for a freshman to put up the numbers she's been doing, it's nothing short of impressive. Thompson to third, Brown to Hiller for the final out. Hits. Alex Brown leading things off at a home run on Friday and a home run on Sunday. Alex Brown with her second leadoff home run of the series. The 1-1 one -one to Oda. Oda to the right side and through. They had her shaded to the right. And Mackenzie Clark. Down the left field line and that is fair. Oda rounding second. She's going to go into third with a head first slide. And a double. 2-1 to Lungaleo. Lungaleo showing bunt, puts it down, runs gonna score. Good piece of small ball there by Lungaleo, gets the RBI as Oda scores the second run of the game. For Saw this bunt developing by Lungaleo, placed down perfectly, and she knew that they were not going to have a chance to get Oda out at the plate. She tried to signal to have her third baseman, Destiny Middleton, fire. Maddie Moore out of Loomis. California. That one is pounded to the right center field wall and over. Maddie Moore with her fifth home run of the season. A three run shot and the Tigers roaring here on Sunday night. I was curious to see where Kenna Ray Darling. Dark likes to throw to that outside part of the plate, likes to throw the curveballs to the right-handed batters, and Maddie Moore was all <laughs> over it. She knew that pitch was coming. She was ready for it. She perfectly timed it up and even knocked a fan out of his chair out there in center <laughs> field. A big swing by Maddie Moore, another example of that timely piece of hit. If you are Coach Smith right now, That one is a base hit. Drops in front of the right fielder, Coleman. Was out for a while. They hope to have her back this weekend, and she has been back. Has a hit. And that one is off the glove of the second baseman, Brooks. They will get the force out as Baumhart really couldn't do anything there. She was stuck on that line drop. 2-1 to Hiller. Hiller skies this one to center field. Steve giving chase under it for the second out of the inning. And back to first is Garcia. Two, two to Johnson. Johnson gets some good wood on that one. That's to the wall. Garcia around second. She stops at third and another double for Clemson. Johnson at second base as they turn the lineup over in the first. Solo shot here in the first. She skies this one. Giving chase, shortstop. That's a tough basket catch by Saddlemeyer. But Abby is able to make a much needed catch. But Madison, the damage has been done. Now in the ACC, it's a little different, but she has shown she can do it. And how about her first hit? Third hit of the series is going to be a stand up double here in the second inning. Pretty important inning here to bounce back after that tumultuous first inning. That's not going to do it. Pop out to the pitcher, Spencer. Now more balls to make their way through to the grass. 2-2 to Middleton. 
Middleton. Is this going to fall? It will. You saw Mackenzie Clark trying to give a look. Almost a deceptive move. To Came yesterday. And now Myrtle skies this one to left. Oda under it, two away. Pretty good swing there in a 1-0 count. Got a pitch that she was looking for. 67 mile per hour drop. A nine hole hitter trying to give the bat back to Alex Coleman. Sneed to short, nice flip. Well done, the flip. <laughs> That one plunks Oda. She's a free swinger. Don't want to coach her too much, says she'll put anything in play. And this one is a double. No, safe at first as Clark beats that one out. She's got some pretty on the good fielder's choice. Yeah. The 0-2 to Lungaleo. On the infield. Emerling has it. Two away here in the second. Clark at first. Moore. That one drops. Alex Coleman trying to make the catch into second base. Akron. Takes a big breath. It's a big pitch. Got her. Drop third. They'll complete the out at first. And Clemson leaves two on off three-run home run against BU this past weekend, so she can do a little bit of everything for the Gamecocks this season. Coleman can do that as well. Another base hit. But she's going to work a little bit more upspin than what we saw from Reagan Spencer. Brooks chops it to short. Lungaleo, oh yeah! Tumbling at first base is Skylar Brooks. Slow getting up. Her order, so the infield's playing up, respecting that speed. A pretty high chop that she has to charge, gets it on the short hop, and then fires within one step. If she takes an additional step there, then Skylar Brooks would have been safe easily. And it looks like because she hit the very that at bat, some batters don't like to look at that at all. They just like to react to the pitch that they're seeing, but it can tell you where they want to pitch you. That one right down the middle. Settlemeyer to second, more up with it, two away. See a little chalk? Where it crosses the base, and that one crosses the plate right down the heart. A big strikeout from McCubbin. The line of the future, Madison. You almost can't help but getting get emotional hearing her get emotional talking about how much pride she has being able to be the head coach at North Carolina and how much it means to her. By the Milwaukee Brewers organization in the mid-90s. The 2-2 to Hiller. Right back up the middle for a base hit. Base knock number eight tonight for the Tigers. That one back up the middle for a base hit. Kylie Johnson skies this one to left. So now Thompson has it for out number two. The eight. One was off of Nikki Harris, who is also a left-handed pitcher for North Carolina. Tried to throw her a curveball up and inside that she turned on. That wind blowing out to left center. She draws the walk. His parents are in attendance. Full support. Oda skies this one, shallow. And going out to make the catch is Skylar Brooks. Not necessarily crunch time, but if you're gonna come back in a game like this, you need base hits like that. They have reached base every inning tonight. Just have not plated a run yet, and the time is now here. Don't see all that often. 3-2, Emerly skies this one to shallow center, and it's gonna drop right in front of Clark. Hit it where they ain't. Back-to-back -back hits here in the top of the fourth, and the Tar Heels are in business. Your teammate to try to chip away at this five-run deficit. Destiny Milton singled her first time up, puts the bunt down, does the job. She's safe. Destiny Middleton beats it out. Here he's for North Carolina. She could deliver a couple more with a base hit. That one is skied to center. We'll see if it brings home Kayla Lee, throw home, is offline and behind the catcher. McCubbin picks it up, runners advance. So not only do they score their first run of the night. On it. A nice jump over at third base by the pinch runner, Kayla Lee, watching it into the glove of Mackenzie Clark, who runs through it, decides to throw home, and because nobody cuts it off, that ball gets past Vieira, back behind the plate, and you're right. The 2-0 to Boo Bella. 
Ground ball to third. Brown throws to first, and holding at third is Emerling two away. But not by much. The 3 2 to Coleman. New life slaps it to third. What a play! Quick glove from Brown. And against their former team ends the inning. That they can ex try to exploit some of those weaknesses. And so for her trying to make an adjustment with the lower half on those off-speed pitches, I think has really paid off for her because now pitchers aren't necessarily wanting. Seniors had a very good career. Is having a very good night. Bobbled in right, but not enough to get Clark past second base. They've got power, but they have not been able to put it together consistently. Nine hits from eight different batters tonight. Three of them from Moore. And another run batted in. Mackenzie Clark scores from second base, and it's... because of her unique stance with her feet touching together, standing straight up and down. The air, a harmless sky out there to Brooks, two away. Everybody does things just a little bit differently. Tied for seventh in career triples. Hit 21 bombs in her career. That one is drilled. How about this bomb? Her first as a Clemson Tiger is a three-run blast into the night. Lindsay Garcia found herself in a three and one count, and she was ready for the curveball on the. That one is inside, and a four pitch walk to the eight hole hitter, Hiller, who is on base for the second time. I didn't, we've seen that this weekend. Swing and a miss and a nice strikeout. Really good way to bounce back for Hannah Pohl coming in with that 59 mile per hour changeup. It's got a bit of down by. Right back up the box for another base hit. Rounding second and heading to third is Hiller. She's in there. Brown's at second. Hiller's at third. Oda can drive them both in. Ground ball to first. Nice play by Emerling, who beats out Oda to first. North Carolina's got some runs. Lina needs to get at least one here in this inning. Skylar Brooks, the 0-2. Ground ball right to McKevin. One away. You know, North Carolina and between these two coaches coming into this series. Ground ball to the left side, backhand attempt by Lungaleo. Interesting to see how they score. This should be a hit. Probably was going to. Settlemeyer's probably going to reach that. The 3 0. That one is outside and a four pitch walk to Thompson. Go in to second. Oh, nearly had the double play. Maddie Moore had the catch. It looked like she was trying it her, all her might to get that ball out of her glove. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. McCubbin puts the icing on this kick. As Clemson run rules North Carolina in five. And gets the series sweep. When you look at the series as a whole, I think it'd be really easy to point to the offense in the amount of runs that they were able to put up against North Carolina, which of course they were explosive all weekend long, but I really th think you gotta tip your cap to this pitching staff for Clemson. Brooke McCubbin, Reagan Spencer, Millie Thompson, all coming together to shut down this really potent North Carolina offense.